Ladies and gentlemen, Salaam Alaikum. Good afternoon. I want each and every one of you to close your eyes for the next couple of seconds. Seriously, close your eyes, guys. <laughs> Imagine with me this feeling of warmth that overcomes you when you help a blind person cross the street, when you help an old woman by holding the door for her. Imagine this feeling of peacefulness that overcomes you when you help one or two people. But imagine that helping hundreds, if not thousands of people. Yes, you can do that. I can do that. We all can. Open your eyes. <laughs> you see, life in my country has been torn apart for the last 30 or 40 years by wars, assassinations, bombings, corrupt politicians, violence, unrest, you name it. But life has persisted in Iraq. And the youth of Iraq will change that paradigm. You see, it all begins with youth. A quarter of the global population and a third of my countries are made up of youth. If we can motivate them, if we could actually give them the skills necessary to, to rebuild Iraq, to lead, to be creative and innovate, we will make a generation that's capable of changing the paradigm, changing the course of history. I have those two amazing friends. They shared one dream. They shared the dream of bringing peace to Baghdad. Young Nauf, a 22-year-old, and young Zayn, a 23-year-old, they wanted to celebrate the International Peace Day in Baghdad four years ago amidst all the violence and unrest in the country. Literally, the country was going through a civil war. For two years, they wanted to celebrate peace in Baghdad, but they couldn't. For two years, everyone told them it's impossible to do it. For two years, permits were not given. For two years, everyone told them to stop. But they kept this. Two years later, specifically on September 21st, 2011, they successfully convened over 100 youth leaders, and they made the dream come true. Baghdad peace celebration was a huge success. Thousands of people, even more than thousands of people, attended that celebration. Media covered it. Smile was everywhere. Everywhere, it was a success. I was inspired by that. It touched me so deeply. My father used to tell me this story that I never had got the hang of it until I began working with the Baghdad Peace Celebration. He used to tell me that this young man, ages ago, wanted to marry the daughter of the king of the land. But the king's one and only condition was that oh, you can marry my, my daughter if you could build me a palace even bigger than mine within seven days. Mission impossible, right? But the angry guy did not say no. He worked on and on and on for seven days. At the, the, at the dawn of the seventh day, the king woke up to a shadowy morning. He looked through the window to find a palace overshadowing his. The king came to the young man and asked him, I'll give you everything. Just tell me how did you do it? The young man answered, I worked on and on, and I never looked back at how much I've done. I've never looked back to see how much I have left. I just did it, and I succeeded. With that story in mind, and motivated by the success of Baghdad Peace Festival, I was inspired. I convened me, I, and a couple of my friends, we convened to make something to change our future. And with the motto of Baghdad Peace Festival, from you, by you, and through you, we had that in mind. And we convened again. We became 15 people. But how can 15 people change the world? We thought of holding sessions to train the youth in the field of leadership, advocacy, entrepreneurship, public health, environmental awareness, you name it. We have three things in mind. First of all, it's free of charge. You pay nada. It's free. Second of all, it's done on their free time. Weekends, Saturdays, Sundays, Fridays, it depends where are, we, where are we, and evening sessions as well. Third of all, it's free of formalities and obligations. For me, this is important because it's done by youth peers and everyone participates in this thoroughly and interactively. But then again, I thought about it. How could 15 people 
we were that day change the future. And it turns out, yes, 15 people can change the world. Think about it this way. If one of us trained a couple, say three or four, in the field of leadership, youth leadership, and each one of the newly trained, those four, will train another four. And then they will train others, and then they will train others. And at the end, we will end up with a generation fully capable of leading the, the, fully capable of leading the country, fully capable of changing the paradigm, fully capable of changing the future of Iraq, the region, and the world. All I want to say in the end, we all hope for a better future. And for me, youth are the solution. Youth of Iraq are the solution. Thank you very much.